以前、逆転裁判で。You lose. Ah! Eek! <laughs> so, yeah, every single case is a murder mystery. Who done it and how can you prove it? Your first trial and it's a homicide. I guess justice doesn't start small, eh? Kristoff. So we play as. Uh, we play as Apollo Justice in this game, not as Phoenix Wright. Oh, there he is. And who is this? This is truly an unfortunate turn of events. I'm sorry we had to meet again under these circumstances. Long time no see, Mr. Wright. Hmm. Phoenix Wright. It is the weapon that took the victim's life. A bottle of grape juice. Grape juice is apparently our defendant's drink of choice. As we can see, a game of poker was in progress at the scene of the crime. I played poker for seven years in that little room, and I've never lost once. What? How? <laughs> you see why customers come now. Defeat the undefeated poker champion. It's quite a draw. That is, I'm quite a draw. Because you never won. But in the fingerprints of the murder weapon, we're upside down. The answer is simple, Your Honor. The prosecution has a size of witness. Hee 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 hee. You're as good as they say you are. So someone was in the room the night of the crime. It must mean that a witness the crime. <coughs> Everything up until now has been a warm up. Justice. Are you ready? Very well. The prosecution may call the first witness to the stand. Who? The witness will state her name and Hold on just a moment! Where's, where's the witness? It's right there. How can you not see them? I surmise that she had been threatened by the fence's demonic looking horns. So I use a little hell jail. Relax! I'm not a goddamn demon! I feel fear of video was pointing the direct in your direction, this cord will cut them off! You sure? I swear it on my gavel! Please come out! Is it violence against hair or crime, Your Honor? Well, if you're sure it's okay. Ahem! Now the prosecution! What? Wait, Your Honor! With the prosecution, you care to explain the witnesses? Um, paraphernalia? Er, uh, yes. She is a professional, Your Honor. These are merely tools of a trade. There will be! My name is Olga Orly. Because her name is a reference to O'Reilly memes from like way back in the day in 2007. I am employed as a waitress in the Bosch Ball Club restaurant. Then why the camera? Of course it is my pride to serve Bosch that is naming restaurant. But I also perform, how as I said, other services. That better not be what I think it is. I take it one of these other services is taking the customer's picture? Da 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 da! Like for example, this one. Hmm. The defendant and the victim. That that's the defendant. Indeed, on the night of the matter. <coughs> Man in white hat is one who g gone kaput. Indeed, there's the victim. Hmm. Order, order. It's quite a piece of evidence to casually drop into a lapse. It's the same as I drop cold balls of Bosch on laps of customers casually. Murder comes afoot so easily. But when you said laps casually, I also wonder what the hell. Uh, a lapse of customers casually. That's also wording. Dear God, the wording in this. The court will casually accept this new evidence. Olga's photo. No witness. Where were you at the time of the murder? I was in room. I was in the room. The hideout, we call it. What? Excuse me, the hideout? It's a room where a famous gangster, a bad guy, was arrested. Really? Bad guy? <laughs> God. 
what is that name? This room where murder took place. Where I talk very slow and cheap. <laughs> what? You look of utter surprise. It is lovely. I will post it by courtroom door later for you. Da, da, photos will be numbered in your right. Which ones do you want a copy of? So there are three people in the room at the time of the crime. The victim, Shane Smith, Mr. Wright, and Oga Ori, our witness. If Mr. Wright isn't the killer, then that means... <coughs> hmm... Very well, witness! You will testify to the court about the night's event! Okay... Witness testimony... That fateful night. That night, customer asked me to deal cards for game. It was called, both players played with hats on. Da. <laughs> The victim, he plays full time with his hand on locket at his neck. Then, last hand is done. But something terrible has happened. Da. I make him, I make this character sound like Chinese or Japanese, but it, it's supposed to be like a, a Russian character. <laughs> that man flew at the victim and is strangling him to death. God, I make this person sound Chinese. Hmm. It's silly, who won the game? Isn't it obvious the winner was a victim, Mr. Smith? How do you know? Like... Um... Hmm... He does have more chips on his side. But... Was that the reason? <laughs> hmm. Objection! Objection! That's ridiculous! Um, because... Because Mr. I can't lose! Ahem, Justice? Maybe you can come up with a more legitimate objection. But he hadn't lost in seven years! Take it from me, kid. It happens. Yes, because you yourself lose. I didn't lose a case my first seven years as a prosecutor either. Incidentally, I have some evidence right here. Okay, the table itself. He has way more chips. These are the poker chips as they lay at the very moment of the crime. The hand of the chips on the side belong to the defendant, Mr. Wright. Those on the far right belong to the victim, Mr. Smith. Chips! You say? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes. Imagine that poker is war. Your hand is your army and the chips are your s are the spoils. I, I know that. After all, in my youth, I was known as the, the poker head of corner number three. I think he means poker face. Don't bring Lady Gaga into this, Your Honor. <laughs> Look at this picture. <laughs> Don't seem the most of the chips are on the victim's side of the table. Hmm. Uh-huh. Defending victim's chips when the crime took place. Very well, the first man cross-examine the witness! <clears throat> hmm. Is there something off about this? Because I kind of know the answer. But I'll let the game play out. That night, Cosma asked me to play cards for game. Why? HOLD IT! You are dealing cards? Do you do this often? Da, I am doing this. But not often. <laughs> if Cosmo wishes it, I serve anything. Borscht, cards, more borscht. That's all, you, all I can think of is borscht. My life is like that for no apparent reason. Take picture as well. It is my work. It's good to have a place that hasn't forgotten the meaning of service. Welcome to you to Bosch Club, where Bosch is as warm as the waitresses. Thank you and not any of ours during cross-examination. It was called both players would play with hats on. Da. So... Question anyways. Hold it! It's already April. How could it be cold? 
at Bosch Club, we have quite an off authentic rustic Russian restaurant theme. Yes, I memorized that all. Outside is a city in spring, but inside is always as cold as Mother Russia. Because this game came out long before the Ukraine thing. No way am I going there! Mmm. When it comes to hot borscht, cold is best seasoning. Da. The victim, he plays whole time with his hands on locket on his neck. HOLD IT! Why? His locket! I believe it was good luck charm, da. He gripped it many times as he played that night. Yes! You must have fallen so care <coughs> to the Mona Stars! If it was small enough to fit around his neck, it wouldn't have much fit. Um, the defense would like clarification, this log what we're talking about. I mean, a pendant with a picture on it, right? Not a rocket! Why, because they're Russian, and that's what the Russians are known for? Of course! I knew that! It's probably a pendant shaped like a rocket! That's why she called it that! No. No, a we'll locket's a locket! Doesn't matter, it's considered bad form to poke fun at the- Yeah. It's considered bad form to poke fun at the heart of hearing in our society. Heart of hearing! Or heart of understanding? So, what's happened next? Then, last time is done, but something terrible has happened. Duh. Hold it! What? Something terrible? <laughs> the first wall was free from Neela Shining! Uh, sorry, I need to seriously reconsider this vocal, vocal training thing. Now, Miss Ole, can you tell us what happened? Oh, I was so frightened. Duh, I trembled with fear. That man flew the victim and is strangling him to death. Hold it! Are you sure? But the defendant would never do such a thing! Eek! Well, no, I can't say I've ever heard the defense. Try this tactic! If possible, please refrain from embarrassing me. Still, why would anyone do something in this over a game of poker? <laughs> Perhaps it is because defendant has lost the game. Was there another reason? Or maybe he didn't do it at all? Or somebody else did it? Yes, a crushing defeat for a man undefeated. So it always with is men like him. Winners make sore losers. Oh, how the mighty fall. Go ahead. I believe you know what it is you need to do. Right, sir! Leave it to me! There are only three people in the room at the time of the murder! The victim, Shea Smith, Mr. Wright, and... And if Mr. Wright isn't the killer... <clears throat> I've got you now already. Hmm. Did she kill? Does she have a capability of killing him? Like, well, the, the murder itself was blunt force trauma, at least according to the autopsy report. So... But her fingerprints are not on the bottle, and instead she's wearing those oven mitts. So she's not responsible. But is there something else? Cold both players with hats on dog. The victim, he plays whole time with his hand on his neck. Lock it? Hmm. There's a locket in here. But there's no locket here. Hmm. I don't see a locket here. There's a locket on this one. But there's no locket here. Huh. I wonder, does this go anywhere else? So what, let's say for example I present this here, so... OBJECTION! NOPE! That wasn't the answer. Lock and argument does not count. So, I'm gonna have to oopsie daisy back my way and figure this out. Um... Something terrible has happened. Bring him to death. Wait! 
strangled to death. But the autopsy report states death was caused by a single blow to the forehead. So, objection! Hmm. Oh, really? Strangled, you say? That's odd. The normal customer only choke on borscht. No, I mean, this report shows that the victim died of a blow to the head. Ah. Miss Orly, really now? Did you witness a crime? Eee! The hell? Was that a lobster in that pod? You got a lobster in that pod, don't you? Mm. Look at the picture! It doesn't seem like he was... Doesn't seem like he was hit. He's still wearing his hat and everything. Yeah, the fact that he was hit, Your Honor. Oh, now we have a better picture of the neck. Here's a photo we took of the victim with his hat off during our investigation. Well, that's quite shocking, isn't it? <coughs> His head certainly was hit! Hmm. But I've seen it happen. The defendant, he lunged at the victim. His neck. Oh, really, Miss Trilly? I think I've caught you in your own lie this time. Justice. I admire your enthusiasm, but perhaps you should think this through once more. Why? What, what do you mean? I found a contradiction! There's one thing in her testimony that troubles me. Very well! It seems we should continue the cross examination! Is such a thing as thinking too much? This horse is dead! Let's stop being it! There's such a thing as thinking aloud too much, too. Uh, really? Uh, so we're back here! We found a contradiction, but we're still in this whole thing. So you know what? I think this is the, the locket part we need to talk about. The lock, locket around his neck. This is the picture we need, so... OBJECTION! <laughs> you know, there is one curious part in our testimony just like Mr. Gavin said. But, what does it mean? It's, it's just this way you can really explain what you're doing thinking it's intensely about! Recall this testimony, Your Honor. The victim played with his hat on... Lock it in his neck, I believe she said. I hope you aren't about to raise an objection to the witness's grandma. No, that's Patrick's job to do that, not mine. And even if I did, that's a little extra on my part. No, but look at this photograph. Do you see a lock on the victim's neck? Well done, Justice. I'm impressed. Why are we focusing on the locket? I knew you'd be able to handle this. But, what does it mean? If you're to believe this witness just what this is, then the locket disappeared following the victim's death. Lockets just don't disappear, Your Honor. It's quite simple when you think about it. If the locket is gone, someone must have taken it off, no? Taken it off? Wait, you don't mean... The defendant wasn't strangling the victim at all. He was taking off his locket. Wouldn't that explain it? Oh! Hmm. Defender, what do you have to say about this? Sorry. Yes. I just noticed this, but you have something hanging around your neck, don't you? Hmm. Oh? You mean this? Yes, it's a locket with a photograph inside. A photo of my daughter. Wait, did that... Or I can't even tell if the locket is here. But we see it there. Uh, come again! Is she right? You have a daughter? We confirmed at the time of the arrest. The picture in the locket is indeed Mr. Wright's daughter. So Mr. Wright has a locket too? Why don't I buy this coincidence? Hmm. Well, now, if the results of the poker game led to the murder, perhaps you should hear a bit more about the outcome of the game. Well, that testimony won't really be necessary. It's clear the defendant lost badly. Is there a way you could look around this? Like, he has less chips.
But does it mean he lost? That's the question. <laughs> Miss Holly! You'll testify in the court about the game break between the victim and the defendant! This is why you gotta look at every single piece of connection. Oh. There we go. Serious competition. The game will begun with 3,500 points in chips from each man. Okay, now we're talking about the chips. House chip come in two sizes, small and large. The one who was winning, duh, it was the victim. For the last time, defendant play with all chips on the table and lose. What? For the last hand, defendant play with all chips on the table and lose. The moment loss was decided, defendant grab, bo grab bottle and from table and... And... You don't say that part. Eugene, look at this picture! It just seemed to be a one-sided game! As the court knows, Boku was the defendant's life. Really, I must mean a bitter pill to swallow. Hmm... Oh! How many times have I heard these words? I've done it in a fit of anger, Your Honor, and now I regret what I've done. A common tale, but true. Hmm. He thinks the judge watches too many old court movies. That's right, said he hasn't lost in seven years. This testimony must be wrong. Hmm. Okay, now. The game began with 3,500 points in each chip for each man. HOLD IT! Are these usual starting points or are there any special rules used? No, not special. Usual game. Usual rules. Usual game, usual rules? If each man begins with 3,500 points, then the total will be... Um... Exactly six, no, 7,000 points! Please, this isn't calculus! Oh god, calculus. It's not even long division! No, it's just addition. Most should come in two sizes, small and large. Hold it! So, which... Are the chips in the photo all the chips that were used? Duh. Duh! Of course. Something fishy with these chips. Should I press order? Yes! Maybe you can explain a bit about these chips. Explain. What is there to be explained? The size. You brought up the size. Poker chips are poker chips. They are not fishing chips. Not a chip off the old block. Not a mocha motorcycle cop in. Thanks! Now that I pressed her, I better ask something. What are these chips worth? Are they in dollars or rubles or even? Yep. As I've said before, it was the game, not gambling. Hard perhaps for capitalists to understand. Uh, so what, is this communist? Like, I'm fine with the communist thing. Don't get me wrong. I've had my own quandaries with capitalism. Two types of chips. 100 point chip and 1000 point chip. So, are the small ones worth 100? And the large ones worth 1000? Hmm. Let's say, for example, the small ones are worth a hundred and the large ones are worth a thousand. Let's take a look at this. If the small ones are worth a hundred and the big ones are worth a thousand. So, how many big chips are on the winner's table? Three, 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 there should be nine thousand. But each person is supposed to start with 7,000 points. How can this be? He did not money, duh. Justice. Sir! Don't you find her comment interesting? Yeah, because each player was supposed to start with 9,000 points. But if I look at... Or 7,000 points. But if I look at the winner's table, they have over 9,000 points! Huh! In more ways than one, sir! I have an added error testimony myself. Well, the test is finished, my Yes! Yes, 
deciding that Zoo deserves further scrutiny. I didn't know the testimony. I wish I knew where I was going with this. Very well, witness. You will be so kind. Da, your honor. One kind of chip is worth 100, and the other two is worth 1,000. Two kinds in all. I gotta... There's something off about the value system of those chips, because... She literally said both players start with a thou 7,000 points total. So if that's true, then the value of each chip should not add up to more than 7,000. And it shouldn't be 9,000 for the winner's table. So something is off. And if that is the case, then... OBJECTION! Mm. You're sure it was the victim of one? Absolutely sure! Mm, the chips' values are off. It seems our new attorney is a bit confused. A glance at the picture is enough to tell you who won, if you're not in kindergarten. Uh, just for safety's sake, could you explain the problem to the court? Of course, Your Honor. In this photo, I see small chips and I see large chips. Tell me, which are worth a thousand points? The smaller chips were worth more. So, oh, so if the smaller chips were worth more, right has forty one hundred, and the other player has two thousand plus twenty nine hundred. So, right. Was winning all along. It wasn't about who was winning. Ooh. Why the big ones, of course. Duh. Oh, I thought so too. But then the totals don't add up. The totals. Let's review what the witness told us. Each man started with thirty-five hundred points in chips, and the combined total value of the chips was seven thousand. Yes. If my calculations are correct, let's see the 3 plus 1 carry the 5. Um, they are, you are. Look at this photo! That literally shows all the chips. Mmm. The big chips are worth a thousand points and the small chips are worth a hundred. And you add them up. How much was, is it? Do it yourself. You aren't in kindergarten, are you? 10,600 points. The chips don't add up. The values are switched. The smaller ones are worth more than the bigger ones. This clearly contradicts the witness's testimony! But, but why? How can this be? Exactly, Justice. Now that you know the what, you must determine the why. Uh, why were the chips' values different? Um... I don't know. Who did that? Was it to set up? Like, okay, let's say the values were reversed. They originally meant to make us think that right was losing, but someone set up right to make him everybody think he was losing when he wasn't? Right, there's only one possible way to explain this contradiction. To be a contender back. 